Okay, so what I wanted to show here is a tumor removal. So what we've got is where I've drawn this inner circle is where I can palpate the tumor underneath. So this is a type of tumor called a sarcoma. Now, one of the things we know about sarcomas is they're actually quite locally invasive. And by that, what I mean is we can feel the bulk of the tumor, but there's actually cells spreading out into the surrounding tissue. And we need to make sure we remove all of those as well. And I guess the way to think of it is almost like a, a spider where you can feel the body, but you can't feel the legs. So we need to make sure we cut all the legs off, otherwise it regrows. So what we need for a sarcoma is we need at least a three centimeter margin. So we can see the tumor itself is not really that big. It's kind of the size of my finger, but the area we're having to take out is quite wide. So although this is quite a small tumor, this is gonna end up with quite a big incision, but we've got a fair bit of spare skin here. So this is gonna come back together nicely. Now we need, also need to make sure we go deep enough. So we need to basically go straight down, undermine underneath the tumor to make sure we get it all. And that should be a curative surgery this way, because although these tumors are locally invasive, they generally aren't too quick at spreading elsewhere in the body. So we should be able to deal with this one quite well with surgery alone. So we'll perform the surgery and we'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Okay, so this is what it looks like afterwards. So you can see what effectively was quite a small tumour has become a very, very big incision. But th this is one of those times where we only get one chance really to cure these. And by doing the surgery properly the first time, we've got a very, very high chance of a cure. So we'll send the sample off to the lab to make sure we've got clear margins. Uh, this will take about 10 days or so to heal up and then effectively this dog will be cancer free.